Hey friends, it's Summer. Welcome to Power Life Live. This is Power Bar Express. So 45 minutes, you need a light set of weights, some sort of bar um, that you can balance on. Excellent. Bring your mat up to it. Come onto your mat. Bring your weights with you. Um, lay on your back. Find Supdhavada Konasana. Lay your weights at your side so they're accessible. In Supdhavada Konasana, bring the bottoms of your feet to touch. Allow your knees to display open like a book. So like if prayer feet was a thing, do that. Do your prayer feet. Will you close your eyes? Come into your breath. And I will tell you, um, today is my son's, my oldest, ninth birthday. So does it feel possible that I have a nine-year-old? Absolutely not. Do I feel like I've been momming for nine years? Definitely yes. <laughs> and over this time, it's funny how change happens. So he's looking at his birthday as like, it's all about him, all about him. But I remember his first several birthdays, it was still kind of all about us, right? I remembered the day I have memories of, you know, where I was, what I was doing, when my water broke, when I went to the hospital, like, I mean, just all these things like labor. Um, and I'm, don't worry, I'm not going to get into all that here, but at some point it stopped being about us and it started being his day. And you don't ever have like that marquee, right? Like flashing lights, like change, change, change. This is now different. But so often we feel that, right? The milestones maybe aren't there in like distinct black and white, but at some point there's been a shift. And you sort of notice it afterwards. And so we want you to think about your practice in this way. I want you to think over the next 40-ish minutes on your mat about the change, the change that's happened from day one of your practice and the change that will continue to happen until, you know, you're done. You're done with this whole thing. You're done with it. So I want you to focus on change. I want you to know that it's not immediate. It happens gradually. And I want you to plug back in so that you can live in these moments, the bittersweet moments of change, and really appreciate all that life is throwing at you as opposed to just kind of like rushing through it. Take a big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Hit play on your playlist if you haven't already. Grab your dumbbells. Press your weights to the ceiling. Close your knees together. Stack your knees above your hips. Find reverse tabletop. Press your weights to the ceiling, stack your knees over your hips, work opposite arm, opposite leg, upside down, spinal balance. Inhale, your right arm long, your left leg long. So reach your right arm overhead, extend your left heel out from your body, exhale, crunch on back to the ceiling. Other side, inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, crunch on back. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, crunch on back. Glue your lower back to your mat. Find this with some control. Take it slow. As you move here, notice that if you're in true spinal balance, it's a little bit easier because you always have one palm and your opposite knee grounding you on your mat, right? Holding you upright. And once you take that stability, that baseline away, all of a sudden we don't know what's what, right? There's always somebody who's trying to bring their dumbbell towards their hip. No, it either points to the ceiling or it goes overhead. We are here. Not just to wake up through your abdominals, but to work your entire core. So I don't mean just your abs, but also your back. So as you reach your arms overhead, feel your lat muscle, the muscle beneath behind your armpit, stretch. And as you exhale, flex it back up to the ceiling. Inhale, stretch your lat. Exhale, flex it back up to the ceiling. You've got it. Allow some sensation to build. Know that it is gradual. Know that you have to be present here. One, because it's kind of confusing. It's a little bit of a coordination challenge. But that's okay. That's okay. Lean in. Five more. We add a little bit of juiciness. Take some confusion away in three, two. Reset. Press your dumbbells to the ceiling. Knees above your hips. Exhale. Glue your inner thighs together. Inhale. Everything lengthens. Reach both dumbbells overhead. Kick through both heels. Exhale. Crunch it back to the ceiling. Inhale. Lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen with control. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale, feel your belly, your lat stretch. Exhale, contract, bring them up, keep going. All right. So now we are a little more successful. We can wrap our heads around this more easily. But you get more sensation in your body. Glue your tailbone, your lower back to your mat. 
Only extend your legs so far, only hover them so low that you can maintain that connection. Just a few more. Last three. Hold it on your inhale and two. Inhale, lengthen. Arms and legs are at a hover. Separate your arms and legs. Make a big X with your body. Big breath in. Exhale, cross body, toe touch. Reach your double to your opposite toe. Inhale, hover your X. Exhale, cross body, touch. Inhale, hover. Exhale, cross and touch. Inhale, hover. Exhale, cross and touch. Keep going. So we're still working through your back, bend through your elbows. Attempt to find some control here, but know that you will at some point collapse on the ground. So attempt to find a hover, knowing that as you crunch up, you may need to put your opposite foot on the ground for leverage, and that's okay. Build sensation in your midsection, now we're adding our obliques with the twist. We're just here to warm up, friends. We're just here to warm up, turn your core on so you can use it throughout the rest of class. Five more. Last three, inhale, lengthen, reach. Exhale, hug your knees to your chest. Rock and roll forward and back. Build some momentum. Bring your dumbbells with you. Plant your dumbbells at the top of your mat. High plank. High plank. Cross body mountain climbers. Opposite knee to your opposite elbow. Twist through your hips. Twist through your waist. Build some speed. Get your booty down. Heart rate up. Start bumping. I mean, now we're up. Now we're moving. No more laying on this mat, Steph. So good. Five more. Go faster for three, two. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, knee back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high plank. Alternate rolling planks. Twist toward your hips towards the right. Touch your right toe behind your left. Come back. Now to the left. Touch your left toe behind your right. Come back. Twist and touch. 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 Come back. Square your shoulders to your mat. Twist your waist only. So now we're back in your obliques. Waking up your shoulders. Keep twisting. Five, last three, two, inhale, high plank, exhale, downward facing dog, inhale, bend your knees, look forward, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway, exhale, fold low, inhale, mountain pose, exhale, mini back bend, inhale, mountain, exhale, fold, inhale, halfway, exhale, high plank, back to our rolling planks, this time we add on. Roll, twist towards the left, excuse me, the right. Touch your right toe back, then your right toe to your knee, passe, push up, high plank. Left toe roll to your knee, push up and passe, high plank. Right toe roll to your knee, push up and passe, high plank. Left toe touch to your knee, push up and passe, keep going. Okay, this escalated quickly, it sure did. With your passe, externally rotate, point your knee to the side. Point your inner thigh towards your mat. So if I'm flat, my back to you in front of me, I'm like this in my push-up, yeah? Come back. Now, push-ups are hard, but this is your only chest work, your only chest work all throughout class. I want you to get them in. Also know that you can take them from your knees. You can take passe from your knees. You can do this. You can also come to passe, come back to high plank and push-up. You have so many options to be successful. Build the combinations in however you need to, but get the push-up in. That's the first thing we want to scratch because it's hard. But we're not coming back to your chest. We're not coming back with your body weight, with your dumbbells. Get them in. Five more seconds. Last three, two. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold low. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, mini back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back. Grab both of your dumbbells in your left hand. Inhale, open up second position. Bring your dumbbells through heart center. Your right side body's at your bar. Inhale, plie. 
We've got a three-quarter plie with a bicep curl. Inhale, lower. Exhale, come up three-quarters. Pelvic tuck. Inhale, down. Exhale, three-quarters. And tuck. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift three-quarters. And tuck. Lower. Lift three-quarters. Tuck. Lower. Lift three-quarters. Tuck. You've got it. Three-quarters range of motion through your legs, through your bicep curl. Add a pelvic tuck at the top. Just for funsies. Come on. It's a distinct crunch through your lower abdominals. On the three-quarter range of motion, your legs come up three-quarters of the way where you do not get to straighten your knees. You do not get to straighten your legs. Same with your bicep curl. The range of motion matches. You come up, curl. Bring your dumbbells six to 12 inches from your shoulder. Flex. And then you lower with control. Three quarters of the way, flex, then you lower with control. You've got it. Now track your knees over your toes. Press them back. Squeeze your glutes and feel your inner thighs light up. Stack your shoulders over your hips. And while you're at it, pull your belly up and into your rib cage. Your biceps are strong muscles. We've doubled up on weights. Five more seconds here. Four, three, two. Last one, hold it low and sink down. Pulse, sink down, sink down, sink down, sink down. Lift your toes off your mat, dig through your heels. Press your tailbone down to the ground. Sink, sink, get your hips in line with your knees. All of a sudden your quads are feeling it too. Squeeze your bicep, flex. Four, three, two. Last one, slide your feet together. First position, oh, don't bring your mat with you. <laughs> Come on to your knees. Place one dumbbell on the ground. You don't need it. Bend your elbow knees 90 degrees. Inhale here. Exhale. Fire hydrant with a shoulder raise. Hold at the top. One inch lifts. Lift. Lift. Point your flex your toe. Squeeze the cap of your shoulder. Top of your shoulder. Like you're shrugging it up. Shrug it up. Shrug it up. Shrug it up. It's teeny. It's tiny. Lengthen through your right side body. You'll be tempted to like dump into your bar, your wall, or dump into your hip. Find a leg, stack your head, shoulders, hips. Keep pulsing. And I want you to imagine, between your elbow and your knee, you have about 12 inches straight. And it's like, not bungee. There's no spandex situation. It's not stretchy straight, it's a fixed length. Keep that length, that distance, between your elbow and your knee. They move together. They pulse together. Squeeze through your hip abductor to get your knee higher. Now squeeze through your obliques to bring it up even higher. Yeah. You should be knocking on the door to a major side butt cramp. Like immediately, like immediately. Know that we are looking for that. We're, we're building through our uh, hip abductors. Words are hard, words are hard. We're having weather again, you guys. It's like dark outside. The last class I filmed, it was like lightning and rainbows. It's just getting really creepy out there. It's distracting me. Sorry, keep going. Is this doom and gloom? Is this like impending doom and gloom? You're fine. It's going to be great. Five more. You get full range of motion in three, two, hold it at the top by your hydrant with a shoulder raise. Inhale, squeeze it in. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, pull it in. Exhale, press it up. Squeeze it and press. Squeeze it. Press. Squeeze it. Press. Squeeze. Press. Pull it in, press it up, pull it in, press it up. On your inhale, pull in. So you're pulling with your body. Kiss your knees to touch, bring your elbow to touch your rib cage. You pull in so that you are doing the work, gravity's not doing it for you. And then you press up away from your body. You have the option to drop your other dumbbell, the one dumbbell you're still holding onto, because your shoulder doesn't need a ton of resistance. We are here with the props to burn your muscles out more quickly. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> She's worried about the weather, too. I think she'll come back if we're like a tornado situation. Ooh, a few more. Last three, hold it up. And two, hold it at the top, and extension. This one's up to you. This is accountability on you. Flex through your bicep. Big breath in. Exhale, extend. Squeeze your tricep, squeeze your quad. Bend, flex your bicep, flex your hamstring. Extend, squeeze your tricep, flex your quad. Bend, squeeze your bicep, your hamstring. Extend, flex, bend. Extend, 
flex bend. Lock it out, flex in. Lock it out, flex in. The more you flex through your, mu your muscles, your arm, the less sensation you get in your shoulders. So it's up to you to flex your bicep to bring your dumbbell in. You guys, so many weird things are happening now. My playlist just went on shuffle. Things are getting weird. <laughs> Keep going. Holy cow. Bend and flex. Is the universe telling me this is not meant to be? That's possible. That's possible. Keep squeezing. We are working the front of your arm, the back of your arm, the front of your leg, the back of your leg. So you can swing through this and make it super easy, but you need to like lean in. You want to see change? You create the change. You get to feel it first by flexing your muscles. So take any bend. Take your elbow out of the equation. Take your knee out of the equation. Just flex. Five more. Last three, two, hold your extension, side arm hold, rotate your knee to the ceiling, passe, passe, and reach, passe, and reach, passe, reach, passe, reach, touch your knee, extend, touch your knee, extend, oh God, your hip, abductor, your quad, your obliques, everything should be burning, five more, last three, two, Last one, press your heel down, bring your dumbbell to heart center. We've got up downs with a saute jump. Lead with your outside leg. Come to your heels, saute hop to your knees. Heels, saute jump to your knees. Heels, saute jump to your knees, to your heels, saute jump. Keep going. Notice that when I come to my knees and my heels, my height doesn't change. My head, my hips are glued to the same spot in space. I want you to do the same thing. Get low to your knees, to your heels, saute jump. Now with the saute jump, I know because I teach this class to real people that you want to come into like a nice first position, saute jump, it's nice and easy. No, it is a deep, like think ground play, second position. Ha, point your toes. So on the squat jump, where your booty's down and back, your toes are forward, your toes are out, tuck it under, point them in half, so good. Next time you're on your heels, just so take jumps, just so take jumps. Ha, 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 ha. For four, last three, two, turn towards your bar. Turn towards your bar. Fondue through your front foot. Press all of your body weight into your heel. Bend your knee down. Time to dare air through your left leg. Extend, reach, touch your toe in the back with a tricep kickback. Fondue tricep kickback. Inhale. Exhale, passe, hammer curl. Inhale, glide it back and touch. Exhale, squeeze it forward and lift. Inhale, glide it back. Exhale, press it up. Set it back. Squeeze it up. Flex it back. Flex it up, keep going. You guys, it is seriously dark. Oh, wow. I don't know what just flew across the parking lot. It was pretty big. Sorry, this is really distracting. Keep going, keep going. So even though we're doing fondues and tondues, and we have all these pretty ballet things we're talking about, you guys, there's a built-in deadlift. It's absolutely happening. Keep gliding your tailbone back, touch your toe to the ground, then squeeze forward to stand up. Keep going. I'm just gonna check the situation here. Okay. Good news, everyone's still okay. <laughs> few more, few more. On your next tanu, pull at the back, dégagé, and pulse, pulse, pulse. Bend your front knee a lot. You're still not on your single leg plie. Externally rotate your knee out. There was a branch, that was a big one. Pulse, 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 pulse. Lift your weight above your hip. Soften and press through your elbow. Squeeze through your upper butt cheek and your tricep for four, three, two. Step forward, first position at your bar, drop your dumbbell. If you are in a situation where you actually have a bar mounted to a wall, belly up to it and find water ski where you press all your body weight behind you like you're skiing. 
For the rest of us, we're just standing in our bar. First position, bring your hands to touch, come into roll away. Straighten your arms, straighten your legs. So everything is long. Reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling, roll away singles. Drop your heels and flex, drop them and lift, drop, lift, touch them, lift, touch, lift. Feel the inside of your calf, the ball of your calf. Pitch it up, pitch it up, pitch it up, pitch it up. So good. Squeeze your calves to the back of your knees. So good news, we're about halfway through this thing. We do both legs together, right? So there's like a one and done situation happening here. So squeeze everything your mama gave you. Know that we will work both legs together and we'll also play with our range of motion. Starting now, hold your right leg at the top. Lower your heels halfway up, halfway lift, halfway lift, halfway lift. It got real tight through your calf. Lower, squeeze it up, halfway, squeeze it up. Woo, range of motion got smaller. It's about to get huge in four, three, two. Hold your releve, grand plie, lower down for three, two, one. Squeeze it up, lower down for three, two, one. Squeeze it up, lower down, three, two, one. Squeeze it up, lower, two, one. Pitch it up, lower down, two, one, sit your thighs together, keep going till your legs hurt, friends. So with a grand plie, I want you to think about dropping your seat to your feet. It's very anti-ballet sounding, but I want you to bounce your butt off your heels. This is why we're in first position. You get more range of motion. Where else can you do this weird stuff without judgment? Bar class, that's where. So lower to a three count, control the lower. Track your knees over your toes, press them back. As you zip your thighs together, come up, squeeze your glutes to the top as well. Everything's tight. Hug your muscles to your bone. Our range of motion will get smaller in about five seconds. Last three, two, hold it in the middle, hold it in the middle. Demi plie, three quarters. Demi, three quarters. Demi, three quarters. Demi, three quarters. So same range of motion as our second position when we did our bicep curls, but now we're in first. Different leg choreography, different positioning through our feet. Continue to press your knees out. Tuck your tailbone under. Squeeze your belly up and in. Five more. Three, you're still facing your bar. I turn for you. Last two. Hold it in the middle. Pulse, pulse. Sink down, sink down, sink down, sink down. There is no come up, there is no bounce. You sink, 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 sink. So good. Feel the sensation built in your quads, your inner thighs, perhaps your glutes and your calves. Holy buckets. Your upper body is getting a well deserved break so you can balance yourself. Five more. Last three, last order of business in two. Last one. Hold in the middle, hold it here, pelvic tuck. Release and tuck, release, tuck, tuck, tuck. Yes, I know what it looks like, it's super fun. Come on, this is in, like, in class, we're usually in water ski, right where we're back here, doing pelvic tucks, and I make everyone look at each other because it's so freaking awkward, but then you realize it's only weird if you're not doing it. It's only awkward if you're not doing it. So keep doing it. Don't take yourself so seriously, it's just bar class. Five, last three, two, first position, stand up, turn your feet forward, bar burst, hop it up, hop it up, hop it up, hop it up, kick your heels to your glutes. The first five are fun, and then you realize, oh, hot damn, it's work. Keep going, get your heart right up, stretch it out, shake it out, ha, give it to me, everything you've got. You only have so many opportunities to really spike your heart here. Go for it, go for it, get bigger, jump higher. Insert bad jokes about you kicking your own ass right here. You wanna see change, friends. It doesn't come for free. You are worth this work. Think of the things you've worked hard for. Any accolades, it wasn't the degree or the certificate that created the change. There was no like flashing lights, the heavens open, the choir sing. The work was put in before that. This is part of that journey. This is that work. Dig deeper, it counts. Every time you lean in, it freaking counts, friends. You compound these efforts over time. Holy buckets, you're amazing. Five seconds. Last three, two, step your left foot forward. 
Grab your dumbbell in your right hand. Bondu through your left leg. Tandu derriere through your right. And your tricep kick back. Inhale, fondue, kick back. Exhale, passe, hammer, curl. Inhale, glide it back. Exhale, squeeze it up. Inhale, kick it back and flex. Exhale, squeeze it up and flex. Set it back, flex your tricep. Thrust it forward, flex your bicep. Set it back, flex your tricep. Thrust it forward, bicep. Externally rotate your right knee to the side. Glide your tailbone back as you touch your toe to the ground. As you exhale, thrust it forward, bring your toe to your calf to your knee. Find the flex of your arm at both the top and the bottom. The back is a tricep extension, lock your arm out. In the front, in the top, it's a hammer curl. So we've already been in your biceps, they're ready. We're working them more than one time, but this is up to you, my friends. I can only lead you through the exercise, and in this situation, it's not enough on its own. You have to pitch what your mama gave you. Flex it up. Flex it back. There's a pause at each. Now, your range of motion to your legs is fairly small. There's no low lunge situation. In fact, you only touch the tip of your toe down so for the sake of driving it back up. All your body weight. Put your body weight in your front heel. Again, this is where that baby deadlift is like built in. Squeeze it up. Set it back. Squeeze it up. All of your body weight in your left heel. You got it. Bend your knee a lot as you touch back and tondu. It's a fondue, single leg plie, single leg squat. It's freaking hard. Come on. Keep thrusting forward. God, I wish I would have covered my patio furniture. 30% chance of rain. It's like cats and dogs, high winds, and there's just stuff flying around the parking lot. Good thing we were here working our backsides. Five more. Hold your tondu in three, two, tondu, take a J. Pulse, pulse it up, pulse it up. Soften and press through your elbow to pulse your tricep. You got it. Think a little lower. Squeeze your belly up in. This is for your backside. The shape, the aesthetic of your rear end. Your shelf, if you will, your upper booty. Flex your glutes to lift your leg up. Now your tricep as well. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. For four. Last three, get lower. Two. Step your right foot back. Grab your other dumbbell beneath your bar. Put both weights in your right hand. Open up second position on the bar. Left side body right here. Back to our plies. Inhale, plie. Exhale, lift three quarters. Pelvic tuck. Inhale, lower. Exhale, bicep curl. Pelvic tuck. Inhale, down. Exhale, squeeze and tuck. Inhale, lower. Exhale, squeeze and tuck. You got it. Now, I'm in the studio. I have the advantage of mirrors. The advantage slash disadvantage of mirrors. Check your form. Are you bringing your hips in line with your knees? And let me just stop you right there. The answer is most likely no. Because it feels like, honest to God, hand to God, you think you're going lower than you are. Okay, so now if you have the opportunity of a mirror, a reflection of some sort, you would find that's probably not the case. Your hips are not in line with your knees. I want you to sink into your plie. Get your hips and knees the same height. Then squeeze up from there. Yes, friends, it's, it's juicy. It's juicy. It's supposed to be. This is how we kill all of our muscles doing pretty things in just 45 minutes. That's why you feel the way you feel. It is nothing to scoff at. It is a lot of work. Stay in it. You are worth this work. We talk about change. Think about all of your practices over time, compounded in moments just like this, where you want to run, you want to peace out. Be here. Be present. This is what gives life its flavor. This is how you feel strong. You go through these sensations. You acknowledge that they're hard, and you dig it anyway. Yeah, you can. Five more seconds. Hold it low in three. Two, hold it low and pulse. Pulse flex. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Move your elbow in towards your body. Isolate your bicep. Flex it. Flex it. Maybe you grip your weights tighter. Lift your toes. Dig through your heels. Press it down, down. Think about dipping your tailbone. Dip it down, dip it down. Straight towards your mat. Continue to press your knees back. Five, holy buckets. Four, three, last two. Inhale, plie, hold here. Drop one dumbbell. Come down to your knees. Down to your knees. Bend your elbow 90 degrees. 
fire hydrant with a shoulder raise, one inch lifts, up, 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 shrug your shoulders, shrug it up, shrug it up, shrug it up, shrug it up. Why do you have to do this? I don't know, just shrug. Why is she so bossy? I don't know, keep shrugging. Now reconnect your elbow and knee with that same, it's imaginary strength, it's imaginary one. Come on. But it's a fixed length. They move together. They move together. Lengthen through your left side. Stack your left shoulder over your left hip as much as you can. Reach the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Keep it up. Build sensation in your side booty. Come on. For four. Full range of motion. Inhale lower. Exhale, squeeze it up. Fire hydrant. Inhale lower. Shoulder raise. With a fire hydrant. With a shoulder raise. They move together. Up. Inhale, squeeze it in. Exhale, press it up. Inhale, squeeze it in. Exhale, press it up. Squeeze it in. Press it up. Squeeze it in. You've got it. Keep on going. Tell yourself this range of motion feels so good. So now the cramp that's been building on your outside, your right side, is moving to your left side. Yes. So we're working both legs together, believe it or not. Even though we're lifting through one side, we are burning out the other. Now, typically, we may be on our feet doing this. If your practice is anything like mine, you get to points where you start gripping with your feet, or maybe your arches are bothering you, your foot's cramping before your muscles burn out. So this is just another alternative, another alternative try. Now, if you're on the other end of the spectrum, and you're like, oh my God, my knees can't handle this, just stand up. Just stand up, it's fine. It's the same thing. Working a lateral abduction. How's this feel? I mean, before I get off on a tangent, right? Like you guys are feeling this, right? Like your range of motion probably got a lot smaller even though it's full range of motion. You're ready to move on. Five more, okay. I got you, last three. Two, hold it at the top, add your extension, flex it in, squeeze it out, flex it in, lock it out, flex it in, lock it out, flex it in, lock it out, flex it in. Your tricep, your bicep, tricep. Flex your bicep, tricep, flex your bicep. The more you use your arm, the less you feel in your shoulder. You have to flex, have to flex. It is not enough just to move through the motions. If you're bringing your dumbbell towards your heart, you've gone too far. Bend your elbow 90 degrees and lock it out. 90 degrees, lock it out. 90, lock, 90, so good, five. Last three, two, hold it out. Sidearm hold with passe, turn your knee to the ceiling, touch it, extend, and touch, extend, and touch, extend, and touch, bend your elbow, five, four, three, two, last one, press your heel to the ground, bring your weight to heart center, up down to the sauté jump, your last chance to spike your heart rate to your heels, sauté jump to your knees, to your heels, sauté jump to your knees, to your heels, so take jump to your knees, to your heels. Ha! Knees, heels. Ha! Knees, heels. Ha! Keep going, keep going. The lower you are, the faster you can go. The more bend you get for your butt, through your lower body. God, I hope our internet doesn't shut down. Ha! Who knows? This may have cut off like forever ago. Jesus. So good, friends. Just a sauté jumps, just a sauté jumps. Point your toes, point your toes, point your toes. Get your booty down. For five, last three, two, come to your seat. Oh, you're done with your dumbbells. There's no more cardio. No more like big work, just a little bit more core. I know, we turned it on in the beginning, we ain't done. Come into a low boat, please. Low boat, kick through your heels, crunch them, touch them. Kick them, crunch them. Kick them, touch them, kick them, tuck and touch, kick, tuck and touch, kick, tuck and touch, kick, tuck and touch, kick for four, three, two. Last one, hold your low boat, hollow hold if you're feeling frisky. Low boat, come to your right forearm, lift your hips, back to hollow hold. Right forearm, lift, hollow hold. To the right, how hold. To the right, how hold. To the right, how hold. To the right, work through your obliques, 
without sacrificing your hip flexors, without having to crunch and crunch and crunch, without having to sacrifice your lower back. It's just an alternative. Tell yourself you get a free butt massage here because you do on your right butt cheek. You roll, lift. Almost there. Last three, two, hollow hold. Take it to the left, left forearm with your hips. Hollow hold, left forearm with your hips. Hollow hold, lift it. Hold it, lift, hold it, lift. You got it. Keep on going, keep on going. You're almost there, you're almost there, you're almost there. Whoo! Hollow hold in five, four, three, two. Hollow hold, hollow hold, hollow hold. Press through your heels. Squeeze your belly up and in. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders slightly off your mat. Reach through your hands. Let it shake, let it shake, let it shake. Squeeze your belly as much as you can. Five seconds. Last three, two, lower down your head. Ah, inhale your arms overhead, full body stretch. Reach through your fingers, reach through your toes. Big breath in. Exhale, pull your heels towards your booty. Find a figure four stretch. Bring your right ankle above your left knee. You have the option to reach through the keyhole you've created for your hamstring. You can press through a right elbow into your right knee to find a little extra juiciness there. Flex your toes to protect your knee joint. Take a big breath in. Exhale, keep your feet exactly as they are. Allow them to fall to the left side for a supine twist. In this supine twist, you're still in a figure four stretch, so you can get a little more stretch. When I say a little, I mean a lot more stretch. Do your hip abductor. We've done a ton of fiber hydrant, kind of isolated work here, so you need this stretch, lean into it. Breathe into it, but also feel the stretch in the middle of your back. Glue your right shoulder blade on your mat. If you're feeling your lower back, release your heel away from your booty. Take a big breath in. Exhale, come back through center. Switch your legs out. Figure four, stretch on the other side. Bring your left ankle above your right knee. Pull your heel towards your booty. If you're on your back, stay on your back. Reach through the key you've created. Grab onto your hamstring. Find some leverage between your left elbow and your left knee. And then allow them to fall to the right for a supine twist. So your left heel will touch your, touch your mat, touch the ground. Again, a lot of juiciness in your abductor, your hip. Move your left shoulder blade to your mat. Big breath in. Exhale, come back to your center. Unwind. Hug your knees to your chest. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release to your Shavasana. It'll pull you out in just a moment.
slowly. Begin to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Inhale your arms overhead, one last stretch. Exhale, please roll to your right side, supported fetal position. Rest your head on your bicep, curl your knees into your chest. And take this moment to acknowledge all the change that's happened in the last 40-ish moments. Maybe the last 40 days, 40 months, 40 years. And know that with each milestone, maybe each birthday, it's not a magic moment where, boom, all of a sudden, something's different. Right? The work's been done before that. The journey has happened all along the way. So we wait for these accolades. We wait for these certificates, these, these big days to celebrate. And for what, friends? You have so much to celebrate already. You are there. You are doing the work. You are doing the good things. You are living your life each and every day. So we look for change. We want to see change. But because it happens so gradually, we don't always notice it. So take stock in how strong your practice really is, how strong and how healthy your body is, and be grateful you are doing an amazing job. And you look fantastic, if that's where we're going with this. Take a big breath in, inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, pull your hands in through heart center. You, my friends, are so freaking strong. You are worthy, you are enough, and your presence is needed in this community. We seal our practice, honor each other with namaste. Have a great day, you guys. Um, if you just want to see what I'm talking about, like, it is crazy out there. So hope you're safe. Be well. Bye-bye.